hey you guys welcome back to the channel it's a girl catherine and i am back with another hairstyle video today i'll be showing you guys how i achieved this medium size knotless braid on my hair if that sounds like something you are interested in then make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss a thing and with no further ado let us dive right in Because I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this knotless braid, I decided to have my hair prepped at the salon. There, I had it, you know, sectioned out and put into this tiny mini braid, okay, which I will be taking down later to, you know, make my hairstyle. But usually, I do this by myself. If you scroll down on my channel, I will also be leaving some links in the description box so you guys can check out. I have braided my hair, like I have this pattern, this whole pattern that I have on my hair right now. I usually do this by myself, but like I said, I wanted to cut down time okay i wanted to manage my time so this extension that i have in my hands right now i prepped it by myself okay i used two colors extension that you're seeing on your screen right now all i did was you know plug them i picked them or plug them by myself then i mixed it up together i'm sorry i don't have any clip on that i did that at night so i totally forgot to film the process because i don't have extension hanger i section out strands of extensions before i braid each knotless braid i don't know if that makes sense but yeah and of course i have my shine and jam and this leave-in conditioner that i didn't use as much the size of the extension strands depend on the size of the knotless weights you want. So because I want a flat medium size knotless weight, hence the size of this extension strands that I am sectioning out right now, okay? So begin each knotless weight, I will take down a braid of my natural hair, then come out, apply my shine and jam to, you know, slick down my hair. And after which I will part this particular section of parted hair that I'm working on. I'll part it into three like this, and then I will start braiding. I'll braid for like four steps and add an extension strand, then braid another four steps and add yet another extension strand i'll also braid another four steps then add yet another extension strand making it three now then i'll go ahead and braid out so in total i use three extension strands for this particular knotless braid okay don't worry if you don't get what i did now there are still more illustrations coming up now so sit tight and don't go nowhere <laughs> One thing to know about knotless braid is that you don't pass your extension strands across the braid. Like it is a form of a feeding braid, okay? So what you do is you try to hide the extension, the knot of the extension. That way you are passing the strand on the knit, like behind. I am making sure that the knot is not showing. This is my favorite way to do knotless braid. There is still another method of knotless braid, which I will show you guys later on. But um, just watch this, okay? For this one, I use four extension strands and not three like I did the previous one I showed you guys. The reason is that the extensions I am using for this one are kind of thinner than the previous one I showed you guys. So what this closely. First of all, I applied my shine and jam to slick on the hair and then I parted it into three and started braiding. I'll braid for about four steps and then I will take some strand of braiding extension onto my index finger and my thumb on the other hand and then interchange between the two hand, okay? And then I'll bring in another braiding extension put onto my index finger and my thumb supporting with the middle finger as well while interchanging between the two hands and after that i'll go ahead and add yet another 
um, braiding extension strand, making three that I've added so far. Continue with the same process, interchange between the two hands, then braid for a while before adding another braiding extension. another method of knotless braid what i did here was to start by braiding four steps as usual next i'll pick up a strand of extension this time i'll pass it across that is like on top then i'll start braiding together with just one side of the added extension next i will take the other side that would have been across i will take it back to the other side i don't know if you guys get me but yeah i will take it back and braid together i will braid for like four steps add another extension you know just like that like that Finally, I am done braiding every hair but the thing is I wasn't braiding them to the end like completely I was braiding like let's say midway so after I was done braiding my whole hair completely I just left it and went about my day like doing every other thing and then I came back to it at night it was late here it was late at night so I was trying to finish up the whole braid like braiding out the whole end while I catch up with an interesting series what's more fun than that tell me <laughs> next morning and i'm completely done with braiding out the hair so now it's time to trim it off although i started trimming them off last night but i had to stop at some point so i could sleep so i just want to you know trim off the remainings the ones i feel like they still have some you know um strands or whatever still flying around just like this one as soon as i was done trimming them off i dipped them into a hot water so to slick it all out i'm sorry i didn't show that part okay this is what it looks like you guys tell me you're not feeling this hairstyle tell me you don't like what you see i absolutely love 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 it and i'm so so proud of myself i love the length i love the size of this knotless weight and it is totally worth the time i spent on it because i spent seven hours excluding the time i spent braiding them out since i did that while i was busy catching up with some movies so you guys tell me what you think about this hairstyle will you be trying them out tell me what you think about the color for me i absolutely love the color and you can style it in various ways as you can see me do like yeah literally okay so if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for thumbs up to this video share this video if you can and until next time see you in my next one bye bye